if I'm looking for more inertia about point A, it's like having the whole pendulum rod, let's call it ML, putty, MR. The whole thing is going to rotate like this, about point A. So imagine an axial rotation perpendicular to the board acting on A. This is a complex system, which can be broken up into two subsystems, the rod, eye of the rod, plus eye of the putty. And we want to calculate this moment of inertia about point A. So we have two terms. We can break it up independently. That's the nice thing about moment of inertia. Start taking notes, or keep taking notes, please. Methods. How do we deal with moment of inertia? The first question is, as you go through each term, after you broke up your complex system into sub each subsystems, is, is my subsystem rotating about its own center of mass? If the answer is yes, just grab the answer that we just went over. Five cases, uh, four cases. Point particle, solid sphere, rod, putty. If it's not, then you know you have to use the parallax theorem. So, for the case of the rod, if we're looking for more inertia about the rod, of the rod about point A. Question is, is this point A located at the center of mass of my rod? If the answer is yes, then we know it's going to be 112 ml squared. If the answer is no, like in this case, point A is not the center of mass of my rod, hence I know I have to use the paraxis theorem. Therefore, the first term needs to be broken up into two, I of the rod about its center of mass plus the mass of the rod times delta squared. And as we mentioned, this delta squared is going to be L squared, or L over 2. Perfect. Second term. We're looking for a moment inertia of the putty about point A. Is point A at the center mass of the putty? Obviously not. Therefore, we have to use the paraxis theorem we have to calculate the monoecia of the putty about its center of mass plus the mass of the putty times the translation vector squared, another one. Let's identify those delta very clearly. As Ray suggests, the first delta is from the center of mass of the rod to point A. Delta 1 is therefore L over 2. We don't care about the direction, whether it goes from A to the center of mass or center of mass to A, because we're going to square it anyway. Second one, theta 2, must go from the center of mass of the putty to where we calculate moon inertia. Therefore, it has to go from this point all the way up to point A. So please draw those delta, because that's the only thing that keeps us from getting the right answer. Same as identifying R when we do torque. In this case, this would be L plus R. And that's it. Now we just plug. I of the rod about its center of mass, 112. Mass of the rod, length of the rod, plus mass of the rod, L over 2 squared. And we've seen earlier, this is one third. So you're welcome to use one third if you'd like to save time. Next one. By definition, the moment inertia of a putty about its center of mass is one half mass of the putty, radius of the putty squared, plus translation term, 